Good morning, folks. Still getting a lot of emails about a ball attached to this tether right here. Well, that's actually the lack of coronal material. There's not actually anything attached there, and this was just a normal filament that erupted not facing Earth. Nothing to worry about. Having a look at the RSOE, tens of thousands of people in British Columbia are without power this morning after some strong winds ripped through the area. Speaking of extreme weather, thunderstorms sat over top of Louisiana for about six straight hours yesterday, causing some bad flooding. And the earthquake swarm in the Virgin Islands and the Dominican Republic region uh, did see a fairly large quake yesterday. We have some H5N1 bird flu in Israel, which has caused the deaths of uh, more than 10,000 turkeys there. In Australia, we've had a pretty bad heat wave on the western part of the island, and just in the last 24 hours, we were seeing some fires causing damage in Perth. Last but not least, while we never really had a winter in the United States, a lot of you know that the other part of the world had it really rough, and it's still going. We had a geomagnetic storm yesterday as the result of a coronal mass ejection impact. When we come and we take a look at harp we can see that it was just a brief uh, impact there on the magnetometers but you can see here on the rheometer the red up above the blue our magnetosphere is not really doing its job and a lot of solar plasma is penetrating even inducing ground currents in uh, in Norway as you see here the ionosphere is getting juiced up a lot more than it should be based on these uh, coronal mass ejection impacts coming over Having a look at this solar active region, not really much more to worry about. That used to be the mega spot, hasn't put out a big flare in days, and it's really not likely to. It's definitely showing signs of decay. We do have this trans-equatorial coronal hole, which will be uh, throwing out a big coronal hole stream. Should be hitting us in three to four days. And these active regions over here, I've had my eye on them. Uh, they look like they're somewhat active, but they never really got their act together. Of course, they're, no, uh, they're not in the earth-facing position yet, so they still have a long way to go. Uh, but these things are just beta spots and they're not really too much danger. The only thing I want you to keep your eyes on tonight, folks, when the sun goes down, hopefully it's clear where you are because Venus and Jupiter are putting on a show for a couple of days and they're going to continue to do so. Let's have an eye on all of this, folks. Be safe.